What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Steph, back with another reaction. This time, we have Slapped Ham, 10 Creepy Cryptid Sightings Caught on Film, uploaded July 26, 2018. Down in the description will be a link to Slapped Ham's channel, along with a link to this original video, so you can go and see it for yourselves without my commentary. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Y'all know I fuck with Slapped Ham. Hey. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Cryptids are animals or creatures whose existence are unsubstantiated by modern scientific classifications. Like Bigfoot. Yet all around the world, people seem to be encountering weird creatures that almost defy explanation. Are they mistaken or are there really monsters in this world that we simply don't know about? Of course. So join us as we take a look at 10 creepy cryptid sightings caught on film. And before we get into it, remember to hit that subscribe button for more awesome, creepy content just like this. In late 2016, a strange cryptid creature was spotted swimming through the freezing waters of the Chena River, Alaska. In October of that year, Bureau of Land Management employee Craig McCarr spotted a long, icy creature swimming through murky river water. He grabbed a quick video to prove his sighting and soon the internet was debating whether Nessie from Loch Ness in Scotland had taken a vacation to North America. Oh, wow. In the footage, you can see what looks like a 15-foot long creature undulating through the water. It appears to have icicles stuck on its back from the freezing conditions. Yeah. McCarr spoke to a local newspaper and said, I initially thought and several people thought it could be some rope that snagged on the bottom of the river with chunks of ice. Other people have mentioned everything from sea monster to giant sturgeon. Several experts agree with the rope theory, suggesting it's formed icicles which are helping it stay afloat, giving the appearance that it's swimming. Whatever the video has captured, no one has been able to definitively prove what's lurking in the water, leaving many to believe that this is genuine evidence of a cryptid that is yet to be classified by modern science. It could stay there in the water too. Sticking with strange swimming creatures in mid-2016, striking footage emerged that seems to show a giant monster swimming through the murky waters of the Thames in London, England. A tourist was taking a ride on a cable car that gives scenic views over Greenwich when they spotted something unusual swimming in the water. Dang. Just opposite the famous O2 arena, a gigantic object can be seen surfacing for a brief moment before diving back underwater. It appears to have several fins running the length of its back with a long neck. A dark shadow in the water hints at the actual size of the beast, but sadly only a glimpse can be seen. Some think the creature could be a Basilosaurus, an enormous marine animal that existed some 35 to 40 million years ago that has somehow managed to survive deep underwater. Others are, of course, calling the footage fake, claiming the beast has been digitally added. Could a giant prehistoric animal really survive undetected for all these years and now be living in the River Thames? Oh, Thames. It looks like Thames. This found footage style video was posted to a YouTube channel called Slender Truth in 2013. It claims to show a group of boys who were stalked and attacked by a Wendigo. In the footage, we see three young boys exploring an abandoned house in an unknown rural setting. They search an old shack that looks like it hasn't been used in years. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. An abandoned house that looks like it hasn't been used in years. And three boys go to investigate it. Really? So I already know where this video is going. Uh, there's a chance they're either going to get chased, which I'm pretty sure is the case. They're not just going to see it. It's going to see them and chase them. Although I might just see them. Or... They're going to see it and approach it, and then it's going to run away. The latter would be the best thing for them, as opposed to the former. But let's see what happens. I hope they get fucked up. They deserve it. It's falling to bits, full of rotting floorboards and discarded building materials. Bullshit. When they reach the top floor, an uneasiness begins to build as though the boys are being watched by something. They are. Finally, as they descend the staircase, some kind of monster seems to peer its head into the house. Ah, oh! It has long, slender fingers and a large, grotesque face with deep eyes and a bat like. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
bro. Y'all see that? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Y'all see that? Just looking around the corner. Boy. <laughs> I love this. Slap Tam. Dude. Keep doing what you're doing. That was a jump scare right there. I fucked with that. Dude, look at that. Look at that, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get back to it. I'm sorry. It's now. The footage cuts abruptly, suggesting that this creature attacked the boys. Yeah. The description of the video claims oh. that this animal is a Wendigo, a beast from Native American folklore that is known to be evil with an insatiable bloodlust. The clip has racked up over 11 million views, with a lot of viewers simply assuming it's a work of fiction. I'm hoping. However, some claim that it's genuine and that these boys have been registered as missing since 2013. You deserve Whether it. that's true or not remains unclear. Y'all saw that? This is a curious little clip that apparently shows a real unicorn grazing in a field in England. Unfortunately, it's not known where this footage was taken and details are scarce at best. In the distance, you can see what looks like two horses grazing in a field of grass, one brown and one white. However, it becomes obvious that the white horse-like creature has a single horn protruding from its head. For centuries, man has been describing a mythical beast with a single large horn. The ancient Greeks wrote about a legendary animal that could only be tamed by a virgin. Their what? horns were said to have healing properties and could turn poison into drinkable water. Unicorns are also referenced in the Bible as reams, mystical creatures featuring one spiraled horn. It's written that King David rode a unicorn to heaven to avoid the threat of a lion. Unicorn enthusiasts all around the world are rejoicing, claiming that this is the first hard evidence that their favorite piece of legend is actually real. Could this really be a glimpse of the fabled unicorn? But unicorns aren't creepy. On the 23rd of July, 2011, two boys heard some strange noises on their property and decided to investigate. Of course. They took some footage on their phones and this is their encounter. As they search through the darkness of their rural farm, they can hear some eerie noises in the distance. That's all I need to they hear. They can only see a few feet in front of them with a dimly lit torch. Eventually, they find a barn with graffiti scrawled across the walls. Something inside lets out a guttural squeal similar to a wild boar. It's a chilling groan enough to make your blood run cold. Y'all need to get out. Now. The two boys hide for a few seconds, switching off their torches. Hi. You can hear something scratching about behind the wall. For some crazy reason, the boys decide to take a look. Inside the barn, they spot a humanoid creature lurking in the loft. It has a strange pale face with small eyes and a wide nose and bald head. It shrieks at them as they frantically run into the darkness of the night. What could this cryptic creature be? Some are calling it a demon, while others are saying it's an alien hybrid that's taken refuge in the abandoned barn. Yeah. Could this be some kind of animal that somehow evaded human contact until now? Several years ago, a bizarre event was captured on film in southern Vermont in the United States, was several miles north of Green Mountain National Forest. It's a fairly remote area where several locals reported sightings of a strange creature with long limbs. Residents were finding livestock dead in their backyards with puncture wounds on their necks. Damn. Chickens and other animals were also vanishing without a trace. Eventually, this footage surfaced when two kids said they had an encounter with an alien in a local park. I've seen this. They claimed they were heading home from a party when they heard some strange noises. Yep. They took out their phones and this is the footage they captured. From behind a tree, it's a so bizarre long-limbed creature begins to walk across the grass. It has a bulbous black head and slim body. The figure's hind legs look like that of a human, but most strikingly, it uses two front arms to stalk eerily through the park. Initially, the footage was met with skepticism, but the boys are adamant that the footage is genuine and hasn't been tampered with in any way. This clip, coupled with the reports of dead livestock, sure do make for a chilling conclusion. Yeah. Could an alien creature really be living in the hills of southern Vermont? Anything's possible. 
They were so close, In bro. April 2018, a giant creature was photographed stalking the streets of Santa Fe, Argentina. Here's the thumbnail. The mysterious cryptid had been on a killing spree after it allegedly mauled two dogs to death. Ooh. It's thought that a local resident took this photo after they heard a disturbance down an alleyway. The animal looks too tall to be a dog. Its gaunt frame sits atop four long, thin legs, with its hind legs looking to be a little meatier than the front two. The beast appears to be hairless, with hooves and a dog-like face. Where's the tail? It was reported that this creature had killed a pit bull and German shepherd in a violent rage. When the image did the inevitable social media rounds, many were quick to call this creature a chupacabra, a mythical creature from South American folklore that is said to suck the blood from livestock. I can see that. Others said it was a werewolf or a human-demon hybrid, warning locals to be very careful. Could a bloodthirsty cryptic creature really be roaming the streets of Santa Fe? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. In Carbondale, Pennsylvania, locals have reported sightings of a strange Bigfoot. creature lurking in the woods. They say it's a white Bigfoot, six to seven feet tall with shaggy fur covering its entire body. Or Residents Yeti. often hear strange noises too, low groans and rustling in trees. In 2008, this video surfaced and quickly went viral. It was filmed by a man who heard noises coming from his yard that backs onto woodland. In the clip, you can see a very strange looking creature. It pauses for a split second, then darts off into the darkness. It has deep black eyes, a long cone shaped head and is covered in white fur. Analysts have noted that this would be very difficult to fake. The figure is unusually tall and has gigantic proportions. It moves quickly despite its large frame and the face contorts and reacts, which couldn't happen if it was simply a mask. It's worth noting that Carbondale is the site for the first underground mine in the US. It's a vast network of deep, dark tunnels. Of course. Many believe it's possible that this creature lives deep in the mines and only surfaces to go hunting. The rake oh. is a terrifying creature that began getting media attention in a flurry of news reports in 2003. Dozens of news outlets broke stories about a beast of unknown origin with long limbs, sharp claws and a propensity for unprovoked violence. In this video taken in an undisclosed location in England, a young man is walking through a playground at night testing the infrared feature on his new camera. As he walks along, he spots a mysterious figure sitting on top of the playground slide. The creature turns, startled, eyes lit up. Whatever it is leaps from the top of the structure into darkness. Suddenly, the swings behind the man rattle and the footage turns to black. Could this be the infamous monster from urban folklore? The rake has become so popular in recent years that it's spawned creepypasta stories, fan-made videos and even feature-length films. Like Slender Many Man. think the creature's origins are simply a work of fiction and always have been. But it's sightings like this that seem to give credence to the thought that this terrifying creature may actually exist in real life. That man probably got got Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at some unsettling footage of a humanoid creature on a farm in Eastern Europe, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be fully up to date with all our latest creepy content. This is some unsettling footage purported to be filmed in that. a remote Romanian zoo. It runs towards the person recording. 2014, I've it's seen thought that. that a backpacker who was traveling through rural Romania found out about a secretive farm that is run by illegal traffickers. The heavily guarded property allegedly houses exhibits that the general public don't know about or don't want to know about. Somehow, the backpacker managed to smuggle a camcorder onto the property to film one of the exhibits. The footage begins with the backpacker explaining that the zoo is housing some sort of deformed animal of caged up in one of the sheds. Of course he's white. Things go black as he makes his way through a crowd of people. They're all gathered around a cell sealed off with thick steel bars. You can hear the crowd ogling at something. Finally, a gap appears between the two people and we get a glimpse of some kind of humanoid creature. It moans wildly as it stumbles forward. Someone yells. The crowd heaves backward in horror as the creature is fully revealed. It looks to be a deformed monster, disfigured and kept against its will. The footage cuts to black and we're left wondering what we've just witnessed. No one has been able to explain this footage. A lot of people hope the video is fake, but there's a realness to it that makes for a really unsettling experience. 
Are there really underground zoos in Eastern Europe that house unfathomable creatures like this? Love to hear your opinion in the comments section below. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, hey, well, there's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, slap that upward facing thumb, or leave us a comment down below. We love reading them. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Pew! Okay, so y'all already, y'all already know, dude. Y'all already know the number one that got me was that Wendigo thing at number eight. Dude, those three kids that went into that abandoned house, it just, they were going downstairs, or they were looking down the stairs, and it just creeped around the corner, long ass claws, nails, or whatever, bruh, man, <laughs> okay, I haven't had jump scares like these in a while, slap tab, man, this is why I fuck with you, man, I keep this shit coming. And then you have, you know, the rake creature at number two, which, I mean, you were in the park for some reason. I forgot the reason. It was bullshit anyway. At late at night, and you had your camera, and you saw the rake or some creature that resembles it on top of the slide. It sees you, looks down at you, eyes piercing down at you as you're recording jumps off then a few seconds later you hear the swings behind you start rustling as if someone or something is moving past them or whatever coming towards you and then the video went black i believe he either dropped his camera and ran or he got got by the rake and the camera was broken probably stomped on by the creature as he was tearing him limb from limb. <laughs> That's my guess. But the thing is though, for number one, that fucking human creature farm, whatever that is, he said there's a chance that creature could have been there stuck in that cage against his wheel. Do y'all realize if that creature was ever to get let go or to escape? Oh my God. Everybody in there getting the business, even the tourists, the people watching and looking at the animals and the exhibits and all that. Everybody getting got, but especially the people who run it. Oh man, they finna get dismembered. <laughs> I love this shit. Y'all know I love this. Getting scared, getting creeped out. It's fun sometimes. It's really entertaining. And it's entertaining for y'all. And I never give fake reactions. I know that's so cliche to say. And I know hundreds of thousands of other reactors have said it. But I'm letting y'all know now. Any reactions I ever have, they're genuine. 100%. I have no reason to do fake reactions. Because that means I'm being fake to y'all. And I'm being fake to myself. I will never give y'all fake reactions. Everything I do is genuine. I'm not easily creeped out like a lot of these other guys who react to stuff like this or, or whatever. But stuff like this, oh man. And the crazy thing is, it wasn't so much that number two scared me with the rake, the video itself. It's the fact that when we came into number two, bam. It's just right there on screen looking right at you. Like, really, bruh? Come on, man. That's how you feeling? This video is going into my favorites list and into my entertainment playlist. Like, I fucks with this video. I love this video. I fucks with you, Slap Ham. Like I said, brother, keep doing what you're doing. But that is it for this video, y'all. If you like my reaction, like the video, comment on the video, and share the video. And if you really liked it, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. And tap that bell icon so you will be notified every time I drop new content, which I do on a weekly basis. That's all I got for y'all this time around. Your boy Steph is 